right, what is going on everybody? It is Tristan and today in this video, what I got going on for you guys is I'm gonna be showing you all just kind of what's going on with sneakers exclusive access. How random is it? Because there's just been so much going on with it that we really can't explain. Like so many new people that have just made their accounts or people that had not been active on sneakers for several months that had hit on this. So I think, you know, we can truly see that this is as random as it gets when it, you know, it comes to exclusive access because everybody's hitting, even people that just made accounts, older ones. I've seen all kinds of things, people that hadn't hit in like 20 releases or whatever, you know, so it kind of, you know, shows that everybody has a chance here, but I kind of want to discuss it because I feel like it is still a little bit different than that. I think we got something going on here because I have a few things pulled up on the screen as you guys can see up here and we'll kind of get into explaining them and discussing all of it. So if y'all want more videos like this, of course, feel free to subscribe and like down below. That's all in the description if you want to check that out. Uh, or right by it and again no like goal in this video just as many as possible of course to help the channel get out there so if you want to check the instagrams any of that down below those are also there yeah you know i got kind of a busy day today you know not really anything too crazy but you know i like to i got stuff to do so i'm recording this a little bit early i was going to try and do it a little bit earlier but i was kind of tired so i slept in <laughs> that's random stuff so let's just kind of get into this so first things first when you go look at this article right here not this article but kind of on twitter right here this guy was like i've seen 20 plus people hit on sneakers exclusive access that had never purchased anything just you know this is like their first item they got or you know they hadn't even gone for releases and they just immediately hit on this release whenever they had made their account now kind of seeing this this isn't surprising me again since we now know that sneakers activity just does not matter however you should still engage with the sneakers app as much as you truly would like if you're the type of person that would check the sneakers app every day then do check the sneakers app every day but if you're the type of person that you know just checks it for releases or you know just hops on like a couple minutes for releases maybe checks what's going on you know with like some of like the uh you know videos they post then you know just do that don't you know try and force activity keep it running all day because i just kind of learned over the past couple weeks that activity does not matter it really doesn't especially with this drop just really kind of proving it it just doesn't matter at all it, it, this is guy kind of just, i mean you can call it bs whatever you want to say but i'm not it's just like i'm glad that that's truly random exclusive access is something that it seems like you can't really figure out which is kind of a good thing because people were figuring out how to rig that that would not be good and i'm sure we'll be seeing a re-release of these off-white dunks since there were so many pairs that just were not claimed on accounts or you know, people didn't log in, they didn't check to see if they got it. So there was a lot of accounts. I even didn't check on some days. So you know, I could have been missing, you know? It's just like, that's how it is. So there definitely, I feel like will be another drop of these, maybe an official release. I would like to see a draw for these or something like that. So we could at least see, you know, people maybe hitting them in a normal way, aside from just, you know, random exclusive access. And another example I wanna show you, this guy right here, uh, this is actually under a reply of this tweet right here. You can kind of see, it was, they were talking about it all right here. Like this guy was like, yeah, you know, loyal customer are getting their stuff and you could see this guy got a pair of the off-white dunks and he didn't even know really much about sneakers so look at him he's like i have no exaggeration gone 0 for 17 on the sneakers app and then i get these so this one isn't as bad you know what i mean because it's just like this guy uh hadn't hit on 17 releases apparently so I mean, this is probably nike saying hey you know we finally got you since you've been you know entering in drops for like a year and not gotten anything so this one kind of seems you know not anything that crazy but this is the first item that he gets so no purchase history no nothing and again this guy had said he had seen like 20 plus people get this and i agree with that i've seen plenty of people uh, that i know and just kind of getting into sneaker stuff or just only have one account getting these and that's not a bad thing you know because again the people that have one account are probably people that would rather just rock them or wear them so i respect that and the people if they're the ones getting these shoes and if that's the reason that why these aren't being you know as much out there in the resale market or you know why there isn't as many people you know having pairs up for sale then i'm fine with that but i do th expect a re-release for these since there's just so many accounts that didn't claim their pairs at all. I, probably, I may have even had an account that I didn't claim a pair on, but who knows? I'm just hoping we'll see some sort of draw, but there's 50 different pairs, so who knows? And also this one right here, this is a really good example. Uh, you know, this guy, he's just talking about it, you know, again, just if they skip them on exclusive access and they just give it to someone that just started, you know, having the app yesterday or just made an account yesterday, then I totally understand the struggle. I just want to put this one right here because I relate, you know, I've seen people that had, you know, had their girlfriend or whatever enter in an account uh, and they didn't even know what sneakers was. They probably had just downloaded the app and made an account today. And yeah, you know, they hit in Paris. Like I saw, I was trying to find that so I could pull up an example, but I got plenty right here. Shout out Riso University for this one. Uh, but you can see there's plenty of people that just are random, like, look, haven't been on the sneakers app in a long time. 
and he got three, four months, and he got an EA Nodi, and he bought a pair. So there you go, people that just aren't on sneakers anymore getting pairs. And then another example right here, this one, my cousin just hit me up and said he got a pair. He hasn't opened the sneakers app in four months, giving them it to the most dedicated members. And you could see that, that that dude probably didn't even know what these were. He didn't even know what this release probably was. Because if you haven't been on the app in three, four months, you're probably not checking out what releases are coming up or what's going on. So just kind of seeing that, you know, people that really like, look, been a member since 2010, this guy probably only has bad luck. He's only gotten four pairs ever since 2010. So I mean, yeah, that, that's just that's just bad luck, bro. I'm, I'm a, I hate to break it to you, but yeah, to say the least, it looks like he kind of just started here because he just got the spades, but he's been a member since 2010. So that can mean he's been going for releases because uh, I have an account that's been you know active since 2017. That so I've been a member since 2017, but I just started using it in 2019, and I've hit on three releases in a row: the Undercover Dunk Highs, Travelos, and then also on the Pollen. So I'm a pretty lucky account right there. I'm gonna keep using that. And I'm not even too active on that one, but no exclusive access on any of my accounts. So I do think the idea is true. If you have multiple accounts, you're not gonna be getting exclusive access like that. Cause I truly think uh, that they do check that and they're actually pretty decent with it, especially if you're entering uh, all your accounts under the same Wi-Fi or under the same network, they can probably check that. So I would give proxy to something like that, maybe to try getting exclusive access more, but I've never really been concerned with exclusive access. You know, I usually just try and get them off the draw had decent success with that so i'm just going to keep entering that way but i just kind of want to make this video to show you all this new members are pretty much the ones that have been hitting on exclusive access old members all types of people but yeah you know it's just like who's going to be getting the exclusive access in the future we don't even know and i, I usually see the same account skin and i do i know someone that just made an account in like 2020 they always get exclusive access they got it for the pollens i know they had it for the undefeateds uh, or not the undefeateds, but th there's many other pairs that they've had down the line. Um, uh, Uni, Uni Blues, like there's several that they've had for a, a exclusive access and they just made their account. So it seems like Nike is maybe trying to give the newer people a shot. Maybe the people are just getting into the game, whatever it may be. Excuse me, I'm not really hating, but yeah, that's just how it is. I guess they just, you know, they want newer people to hit. So we'll just kind of roll into the outro right now, but let me know in the comments what you think of this. If you know anything about this, maybe anybody you know that just made an account hit, I'd love to hear that kind of in the comments. So tell me about that. And of course you want more videos like this is just a simple update one i did say i was going to do a sneaker unboxing but that's coming in like later today so i'll probably just do that tomorrow uh in the morning or something like that we'll see but yeah that's really everything that needs to be said so again just no like on this video just as many as possible that's really what we got going on and if you want to check any of that down below instagrams discord those are all in the description so you know feel free to do that but i'm gonna end the screen recording get this edited because you know i got some stuff to do i also got to eat you know didn't eat any breakfast or anything yet and there's also there's a drop going on and uh yeah i was not thank you for confirmed for always letting me know i was not selected uh for the bad bunny shoes i appreciate that they never i never hit and confirmed i haven't hit once all right i'll catch you on the next one peace